Hi, um, I'm Paul Knopp. I'm with Arkansas Western Gas here in Mountain Home. I've uh, been with the company about 16 years. Uh, lived in Mountain Home about 17. Uh, the advantages of natural gas probably over other fuels is one thing, the cost. Uh, it's roughly right now about 80 cents a CCF. CCF would be 100 cubic feet of gas or about 1.2 gallons of propane is the easiest way to describe that. Um, the other advantages to it would be uh, you have more control over your cooking as far as uh, instant heat, instant off, you don't have to move pans off the burners. Um, water heating, you're going to heat your water almost twice as fast and get more hot water versus electric. Um, same way with the, the uh, heating. Most heat pumps, you only get heat at about 80 to 85 to 90 degrees coming out of your ductwork, where with gas, you're going to be running about 130, 125 to 130 degrees. And the last really good advantage is if you have unvented appliances, if we have power outages, you still have heat. Cost as far as uh, heat versus electric as far as gas, um, if you have a heat pump, you're looking at spending roughly about $490 to $500 a year for 50 million BTUs of heat, which is a, an average home of about 1,500 square feet. And if you have just uh, electric resistant heats like baseboard heat, or if your temperature drops below a certain temperature where your auxiliary heat kicks on your heat pump, you're looking at over $1,000 a year to, to run your heat. Where with natural gas, with an 80 or an 80% furnace, which is, that's usually the minimum nowadays, like if you're building a spec home or something and they put in a, uh, just a, a standard unit, 80% 80, 80 efficiency is about normal, they run about four or five hundred dollars a year where if you put in a 90 plus which is vented with PVC you're looking at between 350 and 400 dollars a year and there again that goes back to not so much how much your savings but how much more comfortable you are with warm air versus just air that's sitting at 70 or 80 degrees. No carbon monoxide, uh, carbon monoxide should not be a problem um, if your appliances are working properly. Uh, even in the unvented appliances. Uh, there's no carbon monoxide emitted from under the unvented appliances. Now, we do recommend that you have your furnace serviced at least every year or every other year by a reputable heating contractor, and that ensures that you don't have carbon monoxide problems. Uh, the other thing you can do is install a good uh, carbon monoxide uh, alarm detector in your home. Uh, my recommendation would be to buy one that has a digital readout versus one that just beeps at you. If you have one that has a digital readout, then you can see how many parts per million you have in your house. And in that case, if you do have carbon monoxide, you can contact us. We will come out and determine which appliance it is and recommend what you need to do to repair it and safety up the appliance till you do have repairs made. Yeah, again, with the, with the um, Unvented appliances, you have what they call an ODS, which is an oxygen depletion sensor. It's designed, of course, with an unvented appliance, it's pulling all of its air from the house to operate the appliance. They are, if your oxygen level in your house drops 1%, it will automatically shut down the pilot and the unit all by itself. No, you don't have to do anything, it's just automatic. As far as uh, natural gas availability in the area, 99% uh, of Mountain Home city limits has gas, and if they don't have gas, it's within a short distance. Outside the city, basically, they'd have to call us to see if it is available. We have it running down 62 West Highway and in Gasful Cotter and in the city limits in North Fork and Salesville as well. It, you know, if your power does go out, which we've experienced that several times here in the last year or two, of course we've had the tornado in Gasville where they lost power for six, seven, eight days, and then with the ice storm a year ago, uh, there was people up to 20 some days without power. Uh, there again, this boils back to gas water heater, yes, it, you're going to have hot water. Um, if you have unvented appliances, yes, you're going to have heat. Even with the newer gas uh, cook stoves, even though you're not going to have an oven, because of the electronic ignition, 
uh, you will have the burners where you can light them with a match, so you can cook and everything like that. The other thing along that same lines is a lot of people have put in generators. And A, they sell propane and natural gas generators instead of having to use gasoline. And B, the more big appliances you have on gas, the smaller generator you're going to need. Uh, people don't realize that every 220 appliance adds another 2 kilowatts of power to your generator that you require. So, I mean, if you have a, a water heater that's gas and a cook stove that's gas, you've, you've automatically knocked off 4,000 or 4 kilowatts of uh, generator that you won't really need. Uh, unvented, yeah, are unvented appliances safe? Uh, absolutely. Um, I have an unvented fireplace in my house. I have an unvented fireplace or heater in my garage. Um, my house is less than 10 years old. I've had no problems uh, as far as carbon monoxide or gas smell or running out of oxygen. Uh, the only time you're going to run into a problem is if you try to put one in a like a sunroom or a, a bonus room that's off of the house that was an add-on. Uh, you can run into a problem if it's, if it's too small an area for the heater you're trying to operate. Yeah, we do put an odor in the gas. It's a chemical called Macapertan. Um, it's injected into the gas uh, basically right where it comes out at what they call compressor stations. Um, if you are smelling an odor, uh, probably the first thing you need to check is if you do have pilots on the cook stove is make sure that all your pilots are lit on the top burners and the oven. And if you found that everything's lit and you're still smelling gas and you just need to contact us, uh, that number will be 1-800-563-0012. Uh, and we'll have someone come out and make sure that you don't have a problem. That um, is unique to Mountain Home. Um, Mountain Home is the only town in our system that actually has the gas meters at the, at the structure. And we are responsible up to and including the gas meter. Anything on the other side of the meter is the customer's responsibility. Now, there again, you know, you're talking about leaks and responsibility. We will safety anything up. Uh, we will cap a line, do whatever we got to, to stop a gas leak, and then they'll have to contact the plumber from there. Uh, as far as hooking up a barbecue grill to natural gas, um, that's not a problem as long as the barbecue is convertible. In other words, if it's, um, it can be, a lot of them have what they call swedged on fuel lines for the LP, and in, those, in that case it can't be, but if they have screw-in type fittings where we can screw a gas line onto the to the barbecue grill, yes, yeah, so it can be converted. It depends on the grill. There again, just call us. We're more than happy to come out and look at it at no charge and we can see what's going on. The biggest advantage of, of natural gas over propane, well, there's actually several, but the biggest one would be the price. Uh, propane's running probably almost double and in, 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 in the dead of winter, three times as much as natural gas. The other thing is you don't have to fill the tank. As far as changing over your electric appliances to gas, um, depending on what you're wanting to do, I mean if you're wanting to change out a cook stove, you would need to contact the plumber as far as running a gas line. If you don't have gas in the house at all, then we'll have to get involved as far as running a gas line to your house. But if you do have gas and you're just wanting to get more prepared for uh, bad weather or natural disasters, then yeah, a plumber would be the one to get in touch with as far as plumbing your house. Yeah, as far as uh, transferring gas into your name, you can do it one of two ways. You can either go to www.awgonline.net or you can call the 1-800-563-0012 and they can automatically transfer it and there won't, shouldn't be any interruption in service.